The NASCAR family has always been active in their communities, and here in Daytona, NASCAR's first family has always led the way. They have a special relationship with Habitat for Humanity, and this past week, it was ladies first as they rolled up their sleeves to pitch in. Let's go to Wendy Venturini. Thanks, John. In honor of Betty Jane's Francis, a passion for charity and community service, the NASCAR Foundation started a program this year that will generate opportunities to volunteer over 1 million hours of community service in 2011. Yesterday, Betty Jane's daughter, Lisa France Kennedy, and I took to some power tools to build a habitat home in the Daytona area. So first off, Lisa, we're here not far from the Speedway in Daytona Beach at this Habitat home. Tell us about Daytona and NASCAR's involvement with this build. Well, Daytona International Speedway is sponsoring the home, and uh, there are a lot of community partners that are involved, um, a lot of women's groups, as well as the NASCAR Foundation. Today we have some of NASCAR and Daytona's executives here, all women, volunteering on the build. Pretty cool. Absolutely, and um, this really gives women a chance to um, participate on the construction site. So it was a concept that Habitat for Humanity had called Women Build. And, you know, we've always um, donated and we've always supported it in different ways, but now we get a chance to be hands-on. And this is a chance really for, for Daytona and for NASCAR to give back to the local community right here in Daytona Beach. Absolutely. Um, it's so important to us. It's one of our missions as a corporation to be involved in the community. I can't think of a better way. Coming up, the NASCAR has decided the Betty Jane France Humanitarian Award. It's a really cool concept, a way to give back to different charities and mm -hmm. to the NASCAR fans. Tell us about it. Well, first of all, um, the Betty Jane France Humanitarian Award um, was developed by my mother concept. and. Um, it's going to be, the fans will be able to vote on NASCAR.com and the winner gets $100,000 to their favorite charity. And the top three, um, or I should say the three finalists below that, would get a chance for $25,000 to their charity as well as go to an event and the championship. And so, NASCAR.com. And the cool part about the Humanitarian Award is, is NASCAR fans giving back to charitable efforts with NASCAR backing them up. So not only did this charity win, but they get something as well with the Ford Explorer. Absolutely. Um, everybody really wins in this. Um, the NASCAR industry does. We have a chance to give back, and the fans do. So it really, it'll be someone who has a passion for NASCAR, but they've given back in their own way to a charity, and especially uh, to a children's charity. And to recognize the efforts, the volunteer efforts of many of the NASCAR fans, this first ever Betty Jane France Humanitarian Award will be awarded in December. But nominations can still be coming in on NASCAR.com slash Unites. You have until July 18th. You can nominate a NASCAR fan you think is worthy that does charity work and that will be useful for the uh, $100,000 for their favorite children's charity of choice. Definitely a good effort that NASCAR, Daytona, Betty Jane France, and the whole France family is doing to give back to NASCAR fans. Johnny? Wendy, thanks a lot.